We are going to explore an interesting topic today, AI enhancement versus audacity processing. AI can improve sound quality with just a click, and that is a huge learning saver. I will not say it is a time saver, as you can also improve your sound in Audacity with one click. But to do that, you have to learn audio editing basics or get help from someone who knows audio editing. If AI enhancement can give you the quality you are looking for, you no longer need to learn Audacity or any other software. But before jumping to that conclusion, we will see what the reality is. You can see a waveform of a raw recording. I have not processed it yet, and you see it as I recorded it. We will listen to it for a couple of seconds to get an idea of the original sound. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. You get the taste of the original sound, and let's move to an AI enhancement software. I am talking about AI enhancement from Adobe, one of the big player in voice editing industry. Adobe Podcast is free, and you can enhance your recording simply by uploading it here. Once you open an Adobe account, go to podcast.adobe.com slash enhance. You will also see the enhance option in the tools. I will drag the original recording file here, and enhanced speech will do its work. You can see that the uploading has started, and the processing will start after the upload. The bigger the file, the more time it will take to upload and enhance it. You have to wait patiently for the process to end. Once the process ends, you can play or download. There is also a slider to control enhancement strength. It is currently 90%. However, my experiment shows that increasing or decreasing the strength only make the final audio louder or quieter. The actual processing like noise removal or echo removal remains the same. I will download it and open it in Audacity beside the original audio. The download is complete, and I will drag it to Audacity. Now the top waveform is the original, and the bottom is enhanced by Adobe Podcast. Just by looking at the waveform, you can understand the enhanced audio is louder. Before listening to it, I will do some processing on the top original track. To demonstrate that the sound can become better in one click, I will use my one-click sound better macros. If you have the macros, congratulations. If not, I will give a link to my shop page. I have 11 macros that can improve your voice recording in different scenarios. The macro description link provides all the details. For this comparison, I will use the clear vocal improve macro. This macro improves both the male and female recording and makes it a bit clearer and crispier. The top track is now improved. The processing took very little time, and we can say that AI enhancement has no time advantage over Audacity. I will now compare where both audios stand in terms of ACX check. If you do not know about ACX check, it is a measurement for audiobook quality. Voiceover processing should also meet ACX quality standards. From the AI enhancement, the peak and noise floor failed by a slight margin. We can easily fix this. The peak can be fixed by normalizing it to minus 3 dB and the noise floor through a slight noise reduction. As the noise floor is quite close to the required level, I will ignore noise reduction for AI enhancement. I will apply only a normalize. You can already feel that you have to know some audio editing even though AI has done the main processing in this case. I will check the ACX requirement again. You can see the peak and RMS pass now, and the noise floor failed by minus 1.5 dB. I am ignoring the noise floor check as it is too small for this case, and a slight noise reduction will meet the requirements. Let's move on to the top track, where I have done audacity processing through a macro. You can see the peak level and RMS level passed in this case. However, the noise floor failed by a good margin. I will need at least 7 dB noise reduction to pass the noise floor check. I will apply the noise reduction effect on this track. Because noise reduction by the margin required here can degrade audio quality. For a fair comparison between AI and Audacity, the noise level should be similar. I hope you know about the noise reduction process, so fast forwarding the process without explaining. I will do a 10 dB noise reduction to make sure it passes the ACX noise floor check. If you are looking for a good hands-on tutorial and assignments to learn pro-quality voice editing, you are in luck. I am launching an Audacity Accelerator program on May 14, 2024. You will get 10 assignments through email, one assignment per day. You will get an instructional video on how to do each assignment and personalized feedback upon completing an assignment. The assignment will take no more than 30 minutes to complete. But after 10 days, your audio editing skills will be at a whole new level. People have gone far, like publishing audiobooks or producing professional voiceover demos after completing these 10-day assignments. Even one person has opted out of a pricey subscription to an online podcast processing service because now she can do those things in Audacity with one click. 
In case you miss participating in the accelerator program, join the waiting list for the next launch. The seats are limited as I have to personally check the assignments and give feedback to you. Seats will be filled on a first come, first served basis. Please check the link in the description. Back to the process we were doing. I will go to ACX check again as I did noise reduction in the top track. You can see all three ACX checks have now been passed. Let's listen to the audio and let me know which one sounds better. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio, recording, to clean up audio recordings using Audacity, you have to know some basics about the audio data. Though Audacity is 100% free, it is powerful enough to do professional quality work. Many full-time voice artists and audiobook narrators also use Audacity. You have to understand how to identify an audio problem. You have to know which action you need to take. Then you have to follow through what kind of improvements you are getting with those actions. Knowing these kind of things will help you in the long run. You will become comfortable using any other paid software once you learn Audacity. With other audio editing software, you can drag and drop an effect and you may get the desired audio quality. I would say there are some small artifacts introduced in the AI enhanced audio. The loudness level was also lower in the AI enhanced audio. However, the peak was minus 3 dB in the AI enhanced audio, whereas the peak was minus 4 dB in the Audacity processed audio. Audacity processed audio also felt much warmer and crispier. The reason is the AI software worked too hard to reduce room echo and background noise. In the process of doing so, it takes out some juice or life from the recording. But you do not have to take my word for this. You can experiment with your own recording and share your thoughts and findings with us. Recently Adobe Premiere introduced AI enhancement for dialogue audio. Things like that can help you in bad situations. For example, if you have some audio clips where the audio contains too much noise, AI can make it bearable. If re-recording is not an option, AI enhancement can bring out something from the audio. But pro quality audio still depends on good recording and editing techniques. It does not matter which audio editing software you use. However, you cannot get super quality audio without learning the audio processing techniques. Your learning can start with these 11 macros. If just getting the sound better is your goal, install the macros and use them and you are done. If learning is your focus, you can analyze the macros and learn the professional techniques of Audacity effects. You will get the link in the description and in the pinned comment for the macro and Audacity Accelerator program.